Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to talk about Big Ed from Edward. It's a photo edged accessories collection but I mean usually we also get masks inside and you can notice that this is a set Big 48-213. It should be handy with F101B from Kitty Hawk and we are going to talk about it in detail so we'll open it and check together what is actually supplied in this nice and so first of all packaging here is quite standard we have a really nice packaging I would say here you can see on the reader side some examples of PE being installed on the models and here we also have a small list of the um, sets which are inside so there are four sets one for exterior one for interior there is also T face mask set and of course steel seat belts which will be also handy for such aircraft because they will be a bit more flexible and natural looking but we will talk about them a bit later. As usual everything is sealed here with a tape so I'm going to cut through it right now and we will talk or check everything together. So just give me a second. I just need to cut through this sticker and it will be good to go. In the meantime I can also remind you that big ads are usually a bit more efficient way to get all the accessories from Edward so I mean in case you plan to get the P sets anyway or various accessories anyway so uh, this big ad will give you a 30 percent um, more efficient or more attractive prices and that's something what you won't be able to get even with the bunny fighter club so uh, just to show you the overall let's say look at the sets so there are four of them inside here you can take a closer look and we are going to start with masks so this is not a simple mask set because it's a t-face mask set and as far as i remember it is handy also for the interior masking as well you can see that packaging is standard it's a set ex632 and here on the rear side you can see some safety advices so this is a receivable plastic bag that's why it should be quick to open just give me a second and I'll take out these masks and we will take a closer look together. So first of all masks and from what I can see and you can see it as well we have masks not only for the canopy but also for wheels. Obviously they're pre-cut so they're ready to be used straight away out of the box but um, the application manual will give you a better let's say idea on where are these masks and how they will be used. So here you can take a closer look and they will be installed outside, inside and also on the landing gear wheels but be ready to use the liquid masks as well because otherwise you won't be able to mask some of these surfaces so this is really important to have it in your let's say tool set next we continue with the uh, FE942 it's a steel seat belt set and is as I said before and these uh, steel belts are a bit easier to work with. They are thinner, they look more natural and you can bend them in a bit more, let's say, flexible way. So that's why I'm going to take them out right now. Just give me a second. Okay, so first of all we have these steel belts, they are pre-painted. Camera is focused now so you can see it and here you can see the thickness they're really thin thinner than the traditional PE parts that's why they are so let's say handy and for the application manual the whole procedure is quite simple here you can take a closer look so you just combine it with a standard pilot seat and you will be good to go. And from what I can see we do not have um, seat belts in the interior set so that's why they're included as a separate set because here is the next one it's interior set here you can see it's a uh, set number 49941 and we have two PE frets but none of them contain the seat belt parts so I'm going to open it right now just give me a moment as well okay so here is one, here is the second one and here we go on with the assembly manual. Okay, everything is out. First of all I would like to start with a uh, pre-painted P-thread, so here it is. 
you can see that we have glazing all over the dials so it will give you a bit more convincing appearance but all in all we have a quite nice uh, result here so it will be something what you will appreciate in 148 scale build and next we continue also with unpainted P parts so they will be handy for various structural elements so do not hesitate to install them all because they will also influence the appearance of your aircraft cockpit and just to understand where they will go here is the assembly manual so of course red color means that these parts will have to be uh, modified and by cutting or sending off and also you can see that basically all these parts are being installed onto the standard plastic elements and here you can see that some of the plastic elements for the pilot seat they will be replaced with the P parts just for a better appearance and this will be actually noticeable because as you can see it will be for the pilot seat so quite important thing and even the canopy will get its own portion of the P parts and yes in some areas it might be a bit tricky but the final result should be worth it as I said before so do not be lazy and get them all into the right spots and last but not the least is this exterior set it's a kit number 48979 so here we have only one unpainted p fret here on the rear side you can see some safety advices and assembly manual this is also resealable plastic bag so i'm going to open it right now and frankly speaking i do not remember the original kit from this brand we did not review it but as far as I remember, it is one of the few options in case you would like to build 101B in 148 scale. So I'm going to zoom in a bit and here you can see this unpainted PE fret. A lot of small parts, camera will focus right now, yeah, now you can see it. So a lot of small parts, a lot of large parts, some of them will require bending, maybe from the opposite side you can see it as well here. And also some of them will go for these afterburners inside the engine nozzles. So be ready to install all this stuff, I guess these lines will be used maybe for braking system, maybe for landing gear here, but we will check it all in detail in the assembly manual so just give me a second to take it out the overall format of this assembly manual is just the same so no surprise as you can see some of the external panels will be actually replicated with p parts you have to cut off some of the original plastic parts here we continue with some modifications to this uh, areas and hatches and also engine gear doors as you can see even various levers are added and they're not present in the original plastic here we continue with more uh, various success panels copied with p parts and also some landing gear parts here by the way you can see after burner and next we continue with landing gear parts exactly what i said so we have brake lines copied with p parts and as far as you can see it will be installed on both uh, main and nose landing gear parts so all in all we get a quite attractive collection in 148 scale which should be already available on official edward website of course i'll be happy to hear your opinion about such a list write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye